In this video, I will show you how to connect a Mac and Windows computer over a wired or Wi-Fi network to enable file sharing. This method is ideal if you use the Windows computer as your main workstation, or if you have multiple Windows computers and a Mac on your network. To do that, click on the Apple menu icon on the top left-hand side of the screen, click on System Settings, General.Sharing, and turn File Sharing on. by clicking on the toggle switch on the right-hand side. Click on the information icon to show the sharing screen options and click on the options icon. Click on share files and folders using SMB and click on the name of the account you wanna share. Click on the plus button icon under the shared folder section and navigate to the folder that you would like to share with your Windows computer. You could share any of these existing folders, including the documents, pictures, movies, folders, or any other folder on your Mac, or you can click on the desktop. And then click on new folder and create a dedicated share folder. So let me do that by creating a new folder called Mac. Click on add. and then done. For this demonstration, I'm going to get access to the computer from my main admin account. Which is set to read and write. If you want to be more specific, you can create new users with password access by going into the users and group section and adding accounts. But for this demo, let's keep it simple and just use the main login which is already set up and ready to go step two. Copy and paste or take note of the IP address next to the SMB information at the top of the file sharing box. In my case, it'll be SMB 192.168.1.11. This is the IP address of my Mac on this local network. Step three, now let's head over to the Windows computer. The first thing we wanna do here is to make sure file sharing is enabled. Go to Windows and in the search field, type in Control Panel, click on that, then click on Network and Internet, then Network and Sharing Center. And then click on Change Advanced Settings. Whichever way you get there, just make sure that both network discovery and file and printer sharing are turned on. Step four, now we're ready to connect the Mac. Go to this PC, Click on this PC and you should see a list of devices and drives available on your computer and under that network locations. To add the Mac to the network location section, simply right click on this PC and click on Map Network Drive. In the Drive drop down, you can leave it to the default that appears or choose any letter you like, preferably one that hasn't been used by another drive. So I'll use five in this case. Then in the folder field, enter the SMB file sharing information. There is one modification you need to make before entering into this field. Mac being the name of the share folder that I created on the Mac. Leave the first checkbox enabled, reconnect it, sign in, but don't check the next option, connect using different credentials. Click on finish and then in the next pop-up screen, type in your Mac username and password. Now when you click on the file manager and click on this PC, you should see your new Mac folder appear under network locations. Now remember, this is a mapped network drive. So if you want to drag it over to the Windows hard drive, select the file or files and copy them into your C or D drive from your network folder. So hopefully you've been able to successfully connect your Mac to your Windows computer. If at any time your connection drops out, go back and check the IP address in the file sharing section in your Mac. 